I've said it before, I'll say it again. You need to get to the point where if a guy does not like you, it gives you the ick that he cannot appreciate the work of art that is in front of him. He has horrible taste and he's ugly now. I'm such a stupid woman, okay? I developed a crush on this guy who added my snap from TikTok and like we talked like normal last night and then like today you blocked me and I'm like really sad about it. <laughs> I just don't know what I did wrong. Last night I was at a party. There was a guy there that I thought was really hot. Um, he was single. I came onto him. He turned me down. I was dying of embarrassment. And then I just got out of the shower, saw myself naked and went, that's just his loss. If someone isn't obsessed with me, like, I don't even want to know. Even if I get, like, a sense that, like, they're taking, like, a little bit longer to reply... I, I literally have the ick, like, already. I literally don't know why, and I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, but, like, just the way it is. It's difficult, though, because I really like that hard to get. Like, I don't like it. Like, I don't ask for it, but, like, I do kind of like it. Another thing is that I never, ever make the first move. Some girls make the first move. Like, some of my best friends literally made the first move for their boyfriends, and, like, you go, girl. However, I've just got this, like, mental block, like, I don't think I'm helping myself, basically. I, I really don't think I'm helping myself. Okay, I have a question. And maybe this is a stupid question. But that hasn't stopped me in the past from asking my questions. My question here. You know, my brother was telling me about how in the gym, guys don't really approach girls. Which, good. Don't approach me. Don't talk to me. Thank you. But so then, I was like, if we're supposed to approach guys, how do you know? when a guy wants to be approached by a girl. You know, like because girls will give like the little ojitos, we'll give little signs, but you know, it'll be like, like we'll keep looking back, They're like ah. But how do you know? Like if you're a guy and you saw a pretty girl and you wanted her to talk to you because you don't want to talk to her, what, what do you do? Guys, I know for a fact None of the crushes I've ever had in my life had a single idea I liked them because when I like you or if I'm attracted to you, I literally act like I hate you. If we're in a group setting, I will literally talk to everybody but you. Or like if you approach me first, I'll be really shy and quiet and like I wouldn't even be able to make eye contact with you. So like, you'd probably think I'm being rude, but really it's just I think you're the finest person alive. <laughs> also, this is me shooting my shot. And that's when you're not even looking, so like you would never even know I looked at you. <laughs> or another way I shoot my shot is if we're walking past each other, I literally just walk past you like you're not even there. And that's me telling you I'm attracted to you. But yeah, I've been like this for the longest time. And I think it's a problem that I want to fix. But is anybody out there like this? Because I've been like this for the fattest minute and I'm trying to fix it. But when I'm drunk, it's a completely different story. So something you need to understand is that if I am like in a grocery store walking down the street or something and I see you and I think you're cute, like I'm not going to like smile and then like look away. I'm going to like glare at you and that's not intentional. It's me like trying to show you I like you. And even if you were to come up and talk to me after that, like I would be really rude. But then once you leave, get so excited. But that's just my way of like interacting. So what's good, guys? It's your boy, Justin J, coming to you with another car video. Let's cook, boys. Let's cook. All right. This is why women get angry when you reject them. All right. Some women get intimidated when a man can say no. Dudes don't understand this. This is what causes them to think, why don't women approach us? Why should a woman approach you? She should be intimidated by you. It's a good thing. A lot of guys get caught up and think that when a woman is intimidated by you, it's a bad thing. No, it's a good thing. A woman shouldn't be comfortable just coming up to you saying, oh, hey, how's it going? I want to get your number. You're really cute. You're really sexy. Okay. Yeah. In, in a world far away from this one, you know, that would be cool or whatever, but no, that takes the competition out of everything. You want a woman to be trembling. You want a woman in her head to think, damn, this guy's the shit. I don't want to run the chance of getting rejected by this guy. I'll put myself in his area. I'll talk to him if he talks to me and then I'll let him get my number. Everything will progress. But as far as a woman coming and approaching you, 
Guys need to understand that women don't operate that way. And when they don't operate that way with you, you should view yourself as that dude. A lot of guys lack confidence. So they want a woman to come and approach them. No. See, that's the thing, too. If a woman doesn't approach you, you will start to feel like something's wrong with you. Yet, you know, you're attractive already, but you're losing confidence because women don't come and approach you kind of doesn't really make sense. Go to that live stream that I did. Uh, attracting women is simple, but many men make it complicated. You know, I had a whole live stream centered around this topic, but I wanted to make a video about it because I was just thinking about this story the other day. Women really can't handle rejection. And once you understand this, once you deal with enough women, you will understand why things are the way that they are. I had this one situation in particular at Applebee's when I was working there. And this chick was all over me from the moment I got in there. And she wasn't hesitating at all, pulling, holding any punches. But, you know, I rejected the chick. She was my age. Mm, she was punching above her weight class. Let's say that. So I rejected her. There was this cute 19 year old Colombian hostess, the hostess in there. I went after her, got what I wanted. But the whole time after that, this chick was pissed, pissed. But at the same time, doing little things behind my back because the chick was too intimidated to actually face me and tell me that she had a problem with me. I mean, what's the problem? A guy rejected you. He didn't want you. But see, I was that dude to move around like, you know, I'm not afraid of you. So by default, you have to be afraid of me. See, when you have that energy of you don't care, you're that dude, you are him and they are them. Women can sense that. So, you know, if they can't beat you, they got to join you. And if they can't join you, they got to get the hell up out the way. See how that works? A woman is going to be intimidated by a guy who gives her a reason to be intimidated. So if you're attractive, well put together, you walk with confidence, you ooze sex appeal, you're charismatic, okay? If you have all of those things going on, a woman is more than likely going to be intimidated by you because you're a rare specimen. You're a rare man. I remember in the same job, okay, there was a table of girls, three to be exact, and I was their waiter. I knew instantly what they thought of me laughing, giggling under their breath. They couldn't keep their eyes off of me. And one of their girls ended up telling them that she thought that I was cute. So her friends put her number on the back of the receipt that they left behind for me to get. Okay. So, but you have to understand why didn't she do that? Why didn't she give me the number before her friends left? They said, our friend thinks you're cute. So we wrote her number down because she's nervous. See, women get intimidated. And I remember when I texted that chick, I was like, wait a minute, but why didn't you give me your number? She said, I don't know. I just didn't want you to reject me. I know you know what you're doing. You understand how that works? Two examples in the job. See, women are going to be intimidated by you when you have that energy and that presence that you're good with other women. Because everything with women is energy based. If they feel as though or they make assumptions about you, that you're that guy, in their eyes, you're that guy. So they're not gonna approach you or they're gonna keep everything very friendly. They're not gonna approach you in a romantic manner or a manner that's so straightforward that they want you. You know, a lot of the times when that happens, that's gonna come from women who are very, 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 very promiscuous. I don't wanna say the word because I don't want any trouble with YouTube, YouTube chill. But when women are very promiscuous, they're gonna come forward like that. They're going to be damn near begging for it. But most women, for the most part, they're just going to play the back. They're going to be intimidated by you. So that girl at your school that you know has a little thing for you or she stares at you, but she's always getting nervous. She's intimidated by you. That girl at your job who might touch you from time to time, get nervous around you, never make her intentions clear. She's intimidated by you. All right. The chick that you see all the time at places that you frequent that cracks a smile at you, always giving you the side eye, never approaching you. She's intimidated by you. For everybody who's going to think, well, Justin, you're delusional. Not every chick likes you that does those things. OK, but here's the thing about confidence. With confidence comes that feeling of chicks are attracted to me. And so they say otherwise. Now, you know that every woman's not going to like you in the world, but chicks are attracted to you until they say otherwise. And for them to say otherwise, you have to make your approach. Understand that women know when they can't manipulate you. I need guys to understand that, too. 
The way you are around a woman, that's why I tell you guys, actions and behaviors. A woman instantly knows that she can't run game on you. She cannot get over on you. So that's what's going to intimidate women as well. When they even see how you're dealing with other people around them, they go, this guy knows his stuff. He's not a pushover. He's not a sucker. That intimidates women. All right. So never think that that's a bad thing. The women that you're going to attract are going to be attracted to you because they like that they can't manipulate you. They're going to want to prove themselves. But see, the other women are just intimidated by you. And they know that you have the ability to say, no, I want guys to wake up, man. And for all my brothers that know exactly what I'm talking about, get in the comment section. Because the thing is with confidence and being able to say no and, and, and intimidating women is you're going to attract less goofballs and you're going to attract more women that you can put into position or that you can actually enjoy exchanging energy with. If she backs off, it's just because she's intimidated. She knows the deal. She knows what's up with you. Never be afraid to tell a woman, no, women can't handle being rejected by you. But here's another thing too. When you're able to say no, when a woman rejects you first and then tries to spin the block back for your attention, you reject her back. She hates that. See, you know better for the next go around. There's nothing wrong with approaching a chick. Approach her. Let her know that you're interested. Show interest, right? She rejects you. You pull attention. She comes back around. You uno reverse reject. And now she's pissed. But how did you know how to do that? Because you have the ability to say no. Now women are giving you the stink face. Oh, him over there. Yeah, you're right. Him is over here. Him is in the building. And you're mad because you couldn't run games on me. So now she'll give you the side eye. She won't really come around you. She'll give you her back because she's intimidated because you know your worth. See how it goes? Whether it's off rip or after the fact, you know your worth. You cannot be manipulated. It intimidates them. They hate getting rejected. See, here's the thing about a chick, right? When chicks reject you and then they come back around and you're like, no, 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 no. I'm not having any of that because you didn't realize I'm him. So now I got to flex up on you, right? When they understand now, oh shit, now I understand who I'm dealing with. They get more intimidated because they know that you know their games. Women cannot handle rejection. Think about it. A woman will reject you, right? If a woman rejects you first, spins the block for your attention, or maybe she bumped her head and she realizes like, oh shit, you know, let me come to my senses and double back. By you telling her to get lost, she hates it. Why does she hate it? Because deep down, she knows she's not that special. See, I keep trying to tell you dudes, women know that they're not special. They know it. But a bunch of simps put them on a pedestal and they try to raise them up. Like they're Simba and the Lion King trying to raise them up, you know? No. Women can instantly tell when you're not that guy to be played with. It's in your walk. It's in your talk. It's in the way you keep eye contact with people. It's in the way you even talk to people. Like you're proud to be who you are. Women are intimidated by guys who understand who they are. Because in order to understand who you are means you don't need them and you don't need anybody because you got yourself. So it's not a bad thing, man. Women get pissed and they can't stand when they can't get over on you. And even if you reject the woman flat out and she's bold enough to come up to you and show interest and you reject her flat out, they can't handle it. And especially when you're attractive. Here's another part of the video I want to discuss before we close the video. If you're not an attractive dude and women aren't approaching you, do not get this video messed up. Don't get it confused. A lot of dudes are watching these videos and they're coping and they're thinking that they understand the videos when they don't. I'm talking to men who view themselves as attractive, men who know the deal, men who have been called attractive by multiple women, have dealt with women and that understand these things. For instance, you're going to understand this video if women tell you things like, well, damn, you should have talked to me sooner. I liked you this whole time. Or a woman will come up to you and tell you that she thinks you're cute. And you're like, well, damn, why you ain't come up to me sooner? And she's like, well, I don't know. You know, you make me nervous and I'm not going to lie. I know a lot of girls like you. So that's why I was kind of hesitant. If you get that, then you get this. But don't sit here and cope and say, well, women don't approach me. I know I'm attractive. Duh, duh, duh. You know, you're not attractive. You know, you're not. Don't use this to cope. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I had a one-on-one -on -one coaching call yesterday. 
And a guy just couldn't seem to get it. It's like all these women in the new age and blah, 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 blah. You know, they're all in their phones. And I'm like, well, what does that have to do with anything? You know, a woman will literally give you her number while she's on the phone with somebody. And then you'll just walk and you'll be like, and you'll walk away. It has nothing to do with anything. You guys need to start really taking in the videos and actually doing the work. If you don't want to approach women. If you don't want to get women, cool. But then why watch a video about dating and women? You know, it doesn't make any sense. So I want dudes to understand their value and have higher levels of confidence. Because when a woman doesn't approach you or you think, well, she's intimidated by me. And why is it that women have told me that I'm cute in the past? And, you know, women have cooperated with me, but now I can't seem to get anything going because you're the hunter. Go up, shoot your shot. What's the worst that can happen? You know, it's funny. Dudes are afraid to approach in real life, but a simple hello goes a long way, honestly. And even when you're on a dating app, you know, the chicks that you're liking that aren't liking you back. That's a rejection right there. So if you spent 30 minutes on a dating app trying to match with chicks and you're only getting two matches out of that 30 minutes, you know that you took a bunch of rejections like girls saw your profile and were like, eh, no, hell no. Get them out of here. It's still a rejection every day when you try to go after a chick or every time not every day, but every time you try to go after a chick, you're going to face rejection in some sort of way. Why can't you also be the guy that's doing the rejecting? See, when you're a guy that does the rejecting, you're going to have a healthy relationship with rejection. You're going to understand rejection from the other side and from the side where you stand. The problem is most dudes don't get the ability to reject women, so they take rejection personal. No, you got to know this. Women take rejection 10 times more personal than you as a man, because when you're the guy to her and you reject her, her whole world comes crumbling down. Women can't stand to be rejected. But as a man, it's funny, you got to get rejected to finally be accepted. So never take it personal. Just know that the other side fears it way more. And they're intimidated by you when you're a man who knows who you are, knows what you stand on. All right. And you know that you're that confident, solid, dope dude. You are him. They are them. So just understand that women cannot stand to be rejected, especially by an attractive dude. Never feel any type of way about a woman not walking up to you and approaching you and trying to bag your number. Just don't worry about that stuff. Focus on the things that you can control and you can control every interaction you make and you can control who you accept and reject in your life. Hope you guys got a lot out of this video. It's your boy, Justin J. Get with you boys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's go boys. Let's go.